Question number two: The data and exhibits show both positives and negatives, but overall, the use of Kaepernick has been a positive thing for Nike. The positive data include, in terms of exposure, Kaepernick is a great fit for Nike brand. According to data, within an hour of the Jim Prezi ad going live, it had over five million views on YouTube. Twenty-four hours after the launch of the ad, Nike had already repaid forty-three million worth of media exposure, with positive media attitude at around forty-four point two percent, neutral attitude at around thirty-two percent, and negative attitude at around twenty-five point four percent. In the first three days, Nike repaid both was uh one hundred sixty-three point five million in value. In September and October of 2018, fifty、uh, percent of all U.S. consumers aged 18 plus reported seeing an advertisement for Nike in the past two weeks. This figure showed that Nike's campaign quickly attracted a great deal of media attention and has continued to foster over time since then, greatly increasing exposure. Online conversations grew following the launch of the campaign. Within two days of the ad's release, mentions of "Just Do It" exploded by more than three thousand and four hundred sixty percent. For each of the next seven days, Nike was mentioned in more than one million posts as the story trended worldwide. Offline conversations about Nike also increased. With the actual thirteen point five million conversations a week, representing a sixteen percent increase over the pre-ad period, overall Nike increased its share of positive conversations in the athletic apparel category, thus crowding out the discussions about other competitors. Most consumers surveyed on Twitter had a positive sentiment towards the campaign, with 29% more likely to buy Nike products, and half saying the campaign would not influence their purchase decision. In the days following the launch of the ad, Nike's online sales increased by 31%. Nike's stock initially fell by 20.4%. But gradually rose positively over the next few weeks. The negative data include online sentiment ratio involving Nike dropped from ninety percent positive to under thirty percent when the ad dropped. Nike's favorability declined among all measured demographic. The ad. Scored significantly below the average for advertising、uh, effectiveness for the overall audience of viewers. Since the campaign began, the hashtag、uh, boycott Nike and the Nike boycott have had over seven hundred ten million and four hundred sixty-two million impressions,、uh, respectively. People take to social media to post photos and videos of themselves burning Nike products in protest.